All right, this is a pump that we tore apart earlier in the day uh, that's approximately 15 years old. And when we checked it with the gauge, it, it drags. It, it, stops, yeah. it stops. It has a little bit of swing. But the thrust bearing has dropped some on this pump, causing this problem, like this would be the top end of the pump with the shaft going up through. And all of these are the impellers that sit on there and because that has dropped we have busted up and rubbed together on these impellers with this dropping that allows the stack to drop and allows the bottom of the pump to ride down causing some well, friction friction on those impellers so now this little debris here we understand Let's see if I can get the camera on that debris. Some of this little debris pieces here, the customer actually said he found in the head of his uh, faucet strainers. And that's something that uh, I had never realized, but you can actually maybe diagnose <laughs> the beginning of a pop problem if you uh, look at debris in your faucet strainers. So that's interesting. This customer purchased a new pump, did he not? Yes, he did. Okay. Uh, but. 11 years is the average lifetime on a pump, so he got 15 years before he had this problem. Uh, when we put this in a barrel, we still had almost 100 pounds of pressure, even with the impellers being in this condition. Is that right? But he told he told us he could only get 30 pound pressure in his house, and that's because yes, it of takes the half a pound per foot bringing it up out of the well just okay. to get it up out of your well. And he had a 200 foot well, so yes. that that explains why he couldn't get the house pressure up yes, over 30. Yes, he won't be able to get that much at the house pressure. All right. Okay, good. Thank you, Jim. Okay. Uh...